can't run drop coverage. You're just giving up a two-on-one. I mean, how easy is that? Unbel- okay, so this is, this is an easy hedge because the sideline is right here. So get up. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which he'll have no choice to do because the sideline's right there, I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help for, like, less than a second. This player can occupy these Warriors players two passes away. But I'm going to be able to bump you back really quick. But instead, you just choose to give up, basically choose to give up a wide-open layup. There is no reason to switch a stagger screen. Stop. All you got all you have to do guarding a stagger screen is let's back it up. Okay. You got to stay connected to your man. But you go under this first one, over the second one. And this player stays attached to his man and gets his arms out. So this player cannot curl. He has to go out. Okay? And that allows that chase over the second down screen to happen. But you're gonna switch this. It's a horribly late switch. Now Clay Thompson gets into the lane, draws help, and now the defense is totally scrambling, and it leads to an open Wiggins floater. You're running drop coverage, so you give this player the lane that draws a double team, and it's now gonna lead to a rip and go drive, draw more help, and then an easy two at the rim. So let's take again. How do you actually defend this ball screen? Okay, this is an empty side ball screen. I can easily hedge, get up. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, okay, I can recover. Now, in the meantime, I need backside help right here. This player can easily occupy these Warriors players two passes away because I'm able to bump you back pretty quickly. But instead, you're just giving this guard the lane, you know, and it's just, it's obviously draws a double team. And now this player is able to rip and go in the lane, draw another double team, and then it's a layup. This is just makes no sense. Stay connected to your man. Andrew Wiggins is trying to set a down screen right here. So how do you defend a down screen as the player whose man's coming through the screen? You stay attached, okay? And then you chase. You can't allow this separation. Look at this separation. How does this happen? How? So now they, now you got to switch something somewhere else. You're nowhere in time, and Clay Thompson's open for three. Again, just falling asleep, and this is an awfully difficult person to fall asleep on, Clay Thompson. Look at this. Look at how this player falls asleep. Look at this. This separation with Clay Thompson can never, ever, ever happen because, well, it leads to an open three. Cannot fall asleep on these Golden State Warriors shooters. Right here, you're staying connected to your man. Love it. But how do you fall asleep? Like, look at this. You fall asleep for a second, and now there's this separation. So now it's an open catch and shoot three. Cross screen. This is a disaster. You know how to defend a cross screen. This player's got to get attached to his man and jam this player as he comes through so this player can get on the other side. When you don't jam the man coming through a cross screen, he's wide open for a layup. Unbelievable. You cannot fall asleep on these Golden State shooters. Here's Clay Thompson. Look at this player's attached to Clay Thompson. Where is he going? Now, now, oh my God, look at the separation here. So yeah, obviously Clay Thompson's wide open in the corner for three. Stop running drop coverage. All it does is create a two-on-one. That's all it does. So let's take a look at how we can actually get a stop off of this, okay? We're going to hedge. We're going to force this ball handler to the sideline. Where the, the second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to happen in a second because the sideline's right there, I can recover. In the meantime, I get backside help from right here. This player sinks down and guards these Warriors players two passes away. But again, I'm going to be able to bump this backside defender back very quickly. But instead, you're running drop coverage and giving up two-on-ones. How do you fall asleep this much on a player you're guarding? Nikola Yoga just guarding this player here. What causes you to allow your player to be here and you all the way down here? Now you have no chance of guarding one-on-one, so it's just rip, go right into the lane, uh, and a two-shot foul. Are you getting beat, okay? So you're right, stop. You need to cut this player's dribble off here. If he comes this way, you're, he's coming right into a second defender, and it, honestly a third defender because right here you don't guard beyond the three-point line away from the ball. It can be at the tip of the three-point line. Okay, so now if I get beat this way, there's nothing but Nuggets players. But I'm going to get beat away from any help right now, and now this player is just going to go right to the rim, uh, and it's a layup. Another cross screen right here. This player, if your man is setting a cross screen, you've got to jam him as he comes through so this player can get on the other side. You do absolutely nothing about this cross screen, so of course this player is going to be wide open. 
We have to dig in the post here. Come on. This player cannot be putting the ball. Stop. Right now, this player should be halfway. Okay? Right now, you're halfway between the ball and the three-point line. So now I can just dig at this without moving my feet. That gets the dribble picked up. Okay? And then I can easily recover back out on the airtime of this pass. But you're not going to dig in the post at all. You're just going to let this player back his man down, have all the amount of dribbles he needs, and it's a layup. If you're doubling a strong side ISO, the double does not come from the corner here, okay? The, stop. The double comes from right here because now this player can slide up over here and on a kickout pass, you go here. This player slides up, you go here. This player's staying with his man, and now he's going to the corner and the man that doubles falls here. I just don't have enough bodies to rotate if I'm uh, doubling from the corner. So look, I mean, now the defense is scrambling, and it ends up being a uh, e little easy shot at the rim. Again, you're in drop coverage. You're giving these Golden State shooters wide open jump shots, okay? So can we please stop doing that? Look, hedge this screen, push this player out, okay? The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big's hip, okay, I can recover. In the meantime, this where's this player going? The warrior spacing is horrible. The backside defender's standing and waiting. And I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, you just, instead of that, no, let's just give a great shooter a wide open jumper. Where are you getting beat? Okay, let's take a look. Right now, stop. This player's got to get over here, and you've got he's got to be saying, send him left so I can flip my hips and make sure he goes this way, where there's no place to go where the floor is clogged. Instead, you let him go away from that, and it's just right to the rim for a layup. Cannot fall asleep on your man like this. What is this? you got to be attached to your man. How, how do you fall asleep on him like this? What? So, of course, it's a layup. Whatever you're doing here, whether it's switching or hedging, you've got to be you got to be up. Stop. This can't happen right here. You have got to be connected to your man so you're either ready to switch or you're ready to hedge. When you're when you're this far behind the screener, then this player is just going to come right off the ball screen and it's a Three shot foul now. Fending off of an offensive rebound is just like transition. You can't stand in the middle of nowhere. You got to get to bodies. So right here, this these players are standing in the middle of nowhere. You got to go find a body. You got to go find a body. But look what happens. Oh, this player particularly isn't. Look at this. Standing in the middle of nowhere. You should have been already over here, ready to guard. But instead, you're just there's no. You have no chance. It's just rip and go right to the rim layup. Switching this screen, this can't happen. Look, stop. Look at this. You can't switch a screen like this. Are you kidding me? Especially with Jordan Poole, an unbelievable shooter. So, yeah, of course this is a wide open three now. Okay, so the Nuggets are going to do both things you can't do in transition. Stop. First of all, Golden State's got this ball right now. If you're Jokic, sprint back, sprint back, sprint back. But no, look what he does. He gambles right there. So you're already several seconds behind where you should be. Then these players are going to both jog. You have to sprint in transition because if these players had been sprinting, look what happens as opposed to jogging, all right? And especially Jokic if he hadn't gambled, you're here. So now I can get up and send this player this way where there's no place to go. But you guys are all the way back here, so the space, the floor is totally spaced and it's right to the rim in an and one. Back to bodies in transition, not random spots on the floor. You get cross-matched all the time. Jokic, go here. It's a cross-match, whatever. It's transition defense. You just get to bodies. But look, at Jokic is just in a random spot on the floor. So now he's late to get back out, and Klay Thompson's just going to pump fake and go right to the rim for two. You can't fall asleep on your man. You've got to be seeing the ball and your man at all times. When you take your eye off your man like that player just did, there you go. Goal 10 and two points. Down screen coming. This is very elementary. You've got to get attached to your man and get your arms out. This player cannot curl. He has to go out so that this chase can happen. When you let this man curl like this, Clay Thompson, it's right into a wide open three. So how do you guard a straight dribble handoff? Not this way. Here's how it works. Jokic takes a step back. This player is just through, and you're fine. When you send two people towards the man you think is going for the handoff, well, Draymond Green just going to fake the handoff and go right to the rim, draw help, and it's a two-shot foul. This is a horrendous gamble, especially with Steph Curry. Look at this. Look at this gamble here. Oh, my God. If you don't get that, which you don't, now Steph Curry, that's all it takes for him to be wide open for three.
Very elementary play out of a baseline out of bounds. Nikola Jokic needs to get attached to his man and get his arms out. So Klay Thompson has to go out this way and this player can chase. When you don't get your arms out, Klay Thompson can out curl and that chase is worthless and it's a wide open three. Don't cheat the screen. Look at this. You're cheating this screen this way. So look what happens. Now this player is just going to the, refuse the screen, go the other way. And now look, now that forces a horribly sloppily late slip. The defense is scrambling and it results in a layup. Don't guard with your back to the sideline. Look at this. When you do this, you are begging to get beat back door, which is exactly what happens. Now Jokic is going to have to come contest this shot. That's going to screw up box out assignments. So now it leads to an easy Golden State offensive rebound and a putback. Uh, well, I'm sorry, a two-shot foul. Cannot fall asleep on your own man. Look at this. You ha can't take your eye off the ball or your man for more than a second. You've got to be seeing him at all times. This is what happens when you fall asleep. Look, you don't see your man, so now he cuts right through, and it's a two-shot foul. If you're going to switch this screen, which you don't have to, by the way, but if you are going to do that, then this player's got to get up. You you have got to initiate contact with Klay Thompson, okay? If, Clay, if you sag off a of Klay Thompson on this switch, which you're not supposed to do, then look at look at who look who's initiating contact. Now it's Clay Thompson. Now he's got you sealed, and now he's catching this ball way too low. It's just a turnaround jumper. This is just a horrific gamble here. If you don't get this, now you give up an open three. That's literally it. Not run drop coverage with Jordan Poole and just give him a wide open three. That is not a ball screen defense that works or should even ever be even thought of to be implemented. So get Jokic up. Push him out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off this big hip this way, I can recover. In the meantime, I need backside help, but this player can occupy both Warriors players two passes away, and I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly anyways. But this kind of ball screen defense of give up wide open three doesn't work. Not run drop coverage. This is still drop coverage. You're just dropping the big higher. It's still a two-on-one. It's still way too easy for Golden State to score. Okay, so let's take a look. This is an easy hedge. The sideline is right here. The second this ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, I can recover. In the meantime, I have backside help right here. This player can get up, occupy these Warriors players two passes away, but instead you give up a two-on-one. Now the Warriors have numbers, and it's just that easy. You cannot fall asleep on Steph Curry. Okay, stop. He makes this pass. You've got to stay with him. You can't fall asleep for a tenth of a second. Look at this. You fall asleep. Look at this. See how you fall asleep? You're here. He's here. So that's all it takes for Steph Curry to just drill a three. Very elementary. There's a down screen coming. What is Jokic doing? You've got to get attached to your man and get your arms out. So Steph Curry cannot curl. He has to go out a little bit so this player can chase. When you let Steph Curry curl, the chase doesn't matter, and now it's a three-shot foul. Okay, I know that this is Steph Curry right here, okay? So don't guard past the three-point line. Get here, okay? Get to just right around the tip of the three-point line so that Jokic has the option to get up, and he can get up, first of all. And then he can send Draymond. There's no place for Draymond Green to go. If a, a skip pass gets made all the way here, we will have plenty of time to recover because we're not moving our feet uh, in at all. But instead, Jokic is sagging off of Draymond Green. You're guarding way past the three-point line, and it's an open three. Trapping a ball screen defense, your back line's got to be ready. So here's a trap. So this player should already be all the way up here. I don't care about this player two passes away. You care about people one pass away, which is the roll man. When you have no backside help when you trap and the roll man is this open, then now, look, the Warriors have numbers, and you're guaranteed to be giving up easy points. Okay, the Warriors are in the bonus. Okay, that's one thing. Two things, when you're in transition, you're always just sprinting back. You are never going towards the ball, okay? Because all you got to do is just get back, get to the three-point line, and find somebody to guard, okay? But this player <laughs> is not sprinting back. He's going to go towards the ball, foul, and now Golden State's going to the line. All right, so if you're trapping off of an offensive rebound like this, which I see really no point to, then your back line's got to be ready. So th this is good. I mean, this player's going to got to get over here and uh, deny one pass away. He eventually does. This player is denying one pass away. Good. But this player, who's uh, actually uh, right here, who's guarding these players two passes away, if one of them cuts to one pass away, you've got to go. We do not care about people two passes away. Like, this player cutting, now it's just easy to pass out of and a dunk. 
can't be this late to switch. There's, where's the communication? Look at this. Here's your ball screen. This player is supposed to be switching. You cannot go towards the ball at all. Look at this. Look at how late this player is to switch. So now this player is wide open and it's a two-shot foul. You've got to stop running drop coverage. It's just creating a two-on-one. So now this defender has to step up. This defender has to slide down. And so, of course, there's nobody to guard this player right here. And it's a wide open catch and shoot three. Okay, so let's try and not just give up numbers like that. All right, let's hedge this screen. Okay, look at this right now. We're pushing this guard out this way. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, does anything other than attack off of this big zip, I get to recover. In the meantime, I need, need, need backside help. This player can occupy these Warriors players who are two passes away. And again, I'm going to be able to bump you back quickly. But instead, you're just giving up numbers. Now it's a three on two, and it's just wide open. You're running drop coverage. You're giving these great Golden State shooters wide open threes. I just, okay, look at if you hedge this screen, okay? This player's right next to the sideline. So if you hedge this screen, he's going to have to pick up his dribble, hesitate, or bring his dribble back, like, immediately. In the meantime, uh, the backside defender's right here anyways, and I'm going to be able to bump you back over quickly anyways too, okay? But <laughs> instead, you're just saying, here, have a wide open three. Put your defense in an impossible spot running drop coverage. Look at this. This is a little mini two-on-one here. So now Andrew Wiggins is going to get it, uh, rip and go right into the lane in an easy two. So we back things up here, all right? You got to have... Well, first of all, this ball screen actually never even gets set. I don't know why this player is leaning towards the screen, okay? Like, if you get screened, okay, then you run your ball screen defense. Guard straight up, though, until you get screened. This screen never happens. Never. So look at this. Why is this player cheating up? Cheating up of what? There is no screen. So you're just in drop coverage off no ball screen and giving up numbers from no ball screen. You're in drop coverage, so you're just giving up a, a two-on-one, which eventually results in just a layup. That is some kind of ball screen defense. Okay, so let's take a look here. Nikola Jokic needs to get up. You're just hedging. You're just pushing this guard out. Second, he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back. Does anything other than attack off of this big zip, I get to recover because this guard will be ready to be able to be able to guard one-on-one. -on -one. In the meantime, of course, I need backside help right here, but this player can occupy these Warriors players two passes away. Instead, nah, let's just give up a two-on-one and an easy layup. Again, you're in drop coverage. Again, you create a two-on-one. Again, it's just an, uh, well, it's an and-one in this situation. Okay, I want to hedge this screen, but more importantly, I need backside help on this screen. Okay, so this player can occupy these Warriors players two passes away. And now you take out that pass to Draymond Green. You cannot run drop coverage. You cannot hedge without backside help. Whenever you do that, whether it's drop coverage or hedging, it's going to result in this. You're in drop coverage here for no reason. There is no ball screen set. If you are guarding Steph Curry and if this player sets the screen, Draymond Green, and you get screened, then you run a ball screen defensive scheme. Um, but there is no screen. So look, look, look at this. Why is this player cheating up? Cheating up from what? There's no screen. So now Steph Curry just blows right by him, and it's a step back three. Okay, so this player is guarding Steph Curry right here. You cannot fall asleep on Steph Curry. Look at this. You fall asleep on him for a second, you're dead. Look at this. You lose sight of Steph Curry. So now Steph Curry's here, you're here, and you can guess how this ends. What? Two points. Make the ball handler use the screen. Make him come off of this screen. When you start leaning towards where the screen's being set, like this, now this player refuses the screen, blows by you, two-shot foul. You have a defender ready to help you out in the gaps here. Stop. Okay, look at, look at uh, I believe this is Austin Rivers. He's coming down to help you in the gaps. Okay, coming right over here. So you cannot allow yourself to get beat baseline. There's no help. Force him this way where I have some help. But instead, look at this. Look at Austin Rivers. See where Austin, see Austin Rivers? He's ready to get in the gaps and help you. But you allow yourself to get beat baseline. That draws help at the rim and a layup. Fine that you're calling out for a switch, but when you do that, you can't be all the way down here. You've got to stay up until this player comes through, and now you switch, and it gives this player a chance to actually guard coming off the switch. But you're asking for a switch and then backing way off, so it's just going to lead to a wide-open three. 
You have to sprint back in transition. Golden State has this steal. Sprint, 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 sprint. Look what this player here does. Look at this. Just total lack of effort. And now it's a two-on-one instead of a two-on-two -two and a two-shot foul. Can't backpedal in transition. You've got to sprint back. Because in a four-on-three, you've got to just be able to shift to one pass. Okay, so I need, you need to sprint to the three-point line so you can shift to that one pass and give your trailers time to get back. Okay, but look at this player. Backpedaling. Well, jogging and now backpedaling. And now you have no chance to shift to this pass. So now this player is just going to get right by you in a two-shot foul.